I praise God. How y'all guys doing? Well, I just did a, a live and I actually, oh shoot. I got so much gadgets, y'all. I'm going to see how many people get up on here. Usually I don't be doing no lives this, this early, but like I said, with all that stuff was happening last night, that's crazy to me. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, I'm trying to. All right, so I'm gonna see how many people get up on here. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Oh. Hmm. Okay, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Praise God, praise God. So basically, I did a prayer on YouTube because I try to mix it up for my YouTubers and also for Facebook, right? So I actually shared it. So if you want to hear the morning prayer, because, you know, and I know it's not morning, but hey, it doesn't matter. So now I'm telling you what does said the Lord. So basically, here's what happened. Since we've been on this fast, I mean, it happens all the time. But when we, it's something about when you get on a fast, God really pull back that thing and show you everything. <sighs> this is not going to be, um, it's going to be a hard does said the Lord. I'm letting y'all know right now. So let me go ahead and tell y'all what's going on. My God, my God, my God. First of all, God said he loves every last one of you. Second of all, you got to get detached from this world. Let me tell you something. Don't buy nothing unless you have to. Definitely start stocking up. Now is the time to stock up. Now, I'm not talking about no COVID-19. Just stock up. I've been saying this for years, for years, for years, for years. And now I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I keep, okay, I keep seeing blackouts. no. This is going to be the biggest blackout that you ever saw. It's going to be global. I see it's going to be a bomb, a, radi a radioactive bomb. I don't know if they're going to do it to New York first, LA, but it's going to be simultaneously. Bombs all over the world. Boom, 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 boom. And that that's what they're going to turn off everything. All right. I saw, oh my God. I saw so much. Okay. There was no contact. You couldn't contact other people except the ones that was in your household. People were fighting and killing each other for gas. For gas. Try, trying to go here. I don't know. Just trying to run from all the, the stuff that's happening. It's almost like a movie. They show you in the movies. You know that, right? God said, do not be dismayed. Do not be scared. Um, I got to say some things on here. But I got to watch what I say because you know they're watching. You have to you have to defend yourselves. Because when this stuff hit, people are going to be fighting over food. People are going to be fighting over water. People are going to try to break in your home. People, <sighs> it, it's coming. It's just inevitable. And that's what they want. That's what they want. That's what they want. See, is everybody talking about a race war? It's gonna be a race war too. But the ending things, I see desolation. Thank you, Lord. Desolation. But we're talking about the world desolation. Because remember, the 2021 word from the Lord is from desolation to restoration. That's just the church. But the world, I see desolation. Y'all, this this is almost the end. And I know y'all don't want to hear it. This is not, this is never our world. The Christians, especially Christians, were on assignment. There's only two kingdoms, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. Now you got to start deciding which one you're on. The line is being drawn right now. You can't play like this thing no more. You can't, you can't straddle the fence like, you know, someday I want to serve God. The next day I want to do my thing. You can't do that. You can't do that because he'll reject you, he said. You know, I asked God a long time ago. It was a weird question, but it was a real question. I didn't even know why I asked that. It was some years ago. I said, God, you ever had a, a bad day? He said, no. He said, but I will. I said, what are you talking about? He said, because people think just because I'm God that I'm going to allow them into the kingdom of heaven and they didn't do what they were supposed to do on earth. I just said something. It does matter how you live. It does matter how you talk and how you walk. Some of y'all bold, man. Some, some, some murderers and all this stuff. You ain't getting away. and. He was very strategic. I've been praying about all these rappers killing each other, right? Well, those most of believe it or not, that's like the three letter boys. They throw something, 
and then they make everybody fight each other. But I was asking, I said, God, why so much death? He said, because what, what they have done, they have to also pay for. So if they got to pay for it, how much more Christians? You don't get you don't get away with anything, God says. Y'all better stop treating each other crazy. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. Let me tell you what God just told me to say. If he came today with anything matter, you know how some of y'all mad at each other, y'all this, y'all that. If he came today with anything matter, that's the way you got to start thinking. What if Jesus comes today? What if Jesus comes tomorrow? Because I said it on my prayer line. I'm going to say it again. Every prophecy have been fulfilled. Every prophecy. The only last prophecy before Jesus Christ would come that God allowed him to come because nobody know the day and the hour and the time. The whole world, the, the gospel must be preached to the whole world. Believe it or not. The gospel is not preached to the whole world. There are some parts of the country that they don't even know about Jesus Christ. Once that is done, the son of man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, can come. Do you understand what I'm saying? We're in those days. We're in those days. Let me tell y'all something. And it's getting heavier. For Christians, those that are truly anointed and appointed, we got to stay fasted and praying up because I'm going to be honest with you. Last night, okay, so I stayed up all morning because I, that's what I do. I stay up all morning. I sleep like I probably go to sleep about maybe six or seven, maybe eight. And then I wake up and then I stay up all night to do the prayer call at five. Well, this morning, about three something and four something, I was doing a video. When I say they got mad and they turned off my phone, I couldn't even get on my call. And the call usually have almost 500 people. So it's like they got mad at that information. Why do you think they started watching me? <laughs> they don't want y'all to know what they really doing and how they doing it. But God, I'm going to say it again, but God, God is always going to give you a true prophet and a true apostle to tell you what they're doing so you can be forewarned. Come on, somebody. That's what revelation is. Everything was written. As a matter of fact, the old prophets told us that this would come. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. A lot of people don't want to hear it. Oh, that's doom and gloom and this, that. You Just because you don't want to hear it don't mean it ain't going to happen. Just because you turn the live off, it ain't. Just, No. It is time to face what you got to face and get closer to God like never before God says. I'm telling you. So I'm going to do some key points again. Stock up. This is not a game. You're going to need to defend yourselves. Women, I suggest you start taking a self-defense class. I am losing weight right now. I got me the slim cycle, everything else. I'm ready for the other stuff. Because when martial law come, I already know I'm one of the first ones they come and get. I'm not supposed to fight against that. But I'm talking about up to that, you got to watch yourselves, women. They're stealing women. They're raping women. They're doing all kind of stuff. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. There's a spirit of lawlessness, said the Lord. There's a spirit of lawlessness, said the Lord. There's a spirit of lawlessness. And, and, and they, they put the imputing it more. And, and I got to go deep. Oh, y'all not going to like me. Some of you don't like it. Chicago. Y'all want to know why it's so much murder in Chicago? Because the spirit of the Antichrist, he grew up there. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's just like in Louisiana. Certain cities have certain portals open, demonic portals, oppression. I never understood why God keeps sending me back to Atlanta. I'm not saying I don't like Atlanta. I'm just saying. There's so much demonic oppression here. I feel it. I'm barely sleeping. Come on, somebody. And I ain't even tired. Hallelujah to his name. I got to stay praying. I got to stay fasting. I feel it all around me. I, I, it's heavy. And I said, okay, God, I got this. Just keep me strong. I pray with myself. Keep me strong, Lord. Mentally, physically, spiritually. But don't let me get weak. And he said, then I fast and pray like never before. He said, because I'm allowing some things. I told y'all what we did. I'm going to put we in it. We forgot God. Even the church during this pandemic, notice what I call it, pandemic. People got exposed. And then they, the leaders are bickering. You got this one bickering when all them are wrong. Because God want to know, why aren't you warning my people? Oh, you can't. You didn't sign that FEMA thing, huh? That FEMA contract years ago. What was it? 2010, 11, and 12. So now your hands are tied. You can't speak. I could never understand why God wouldn't give me a church. Why God wouldn't let this happen. Why God wouldn't let that happen. Now I'm so glad because I am not bounded. I'm going to say what does said the Lord. And hold on, I love everybody. But if you're dirty, you're dirty. If you ain't right, you ain't right. Eve could be me. I don't care. I can get it too. 
nobody lying, nobody clowning. The church is unpure in this hour because you didn't slept with the devil. And I'm I'm going all out because guess what time is whining. I, I used to want to be on TV and stuff. I can't lie to you. I want to be. I'm so glad they didn't let me. Because the only way you can get to that type of level. Oh, y'all ain't going to like me. Y'all ain't going to like me. Y'all wonder why they got famous? Because they shook hands with the world. And my Bible says that if you are a friend to the world, that means that you are an enemy to God. I couldn't understand a lot of things, but I understand today. And ain't nobody hating. Hate on what? They ain't got no power. They ain't got no power. I'm going to say it again. They ain't got no power. That's why our church is devoured in this hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all run to them because they got a name. But they traded their flame for that name. Y'all ain't ready for it. They traded that flame, that flame, that fire of God for a great name. Hallelujah. And God said, I'll make your name great. He said, I'll do it. But it has to be my way. By the power, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. You can't do this in no entertainment field. I mean, you can. You're going to get what you get, too. Hallelujah. And all that fake stuff. But you can't even heal nobody. You can't even lay hands. You can't speak to them. Hallelujah. You, it's, thank you, Lord. I hear you. It is time for us to walk in power, said the Lord. No, no more of this uh, eloquent speeching and preaching. and that, That's good. That's good for, for whatever. People need God in this hour. They need a touch. They need healing. They need deliverance. They need to know who's been with God. Hallelujah. They don't need you trying to perform. Hallelujah. Entertainment spirit. Hallelujah. God said, I have that against you. You have your reward. You wanted the houses. You wanted the bitlet. You wanted the cars. That is your reward, said the Lord. Hallelujah. That's your reward. Hallelujah. I couldn't understand. I, I wanted it all too. I wanted that. I can't lie to y'all. I'm so glad he didn't give it to me. I'm so glad he stopped me. I'm so glad they didn't like me. I am. I'm am. I am. I couldn't understand when he said, Deanna, you're not going that way. I understand today. And it's not to belittle people. We all make choices. And I choose. I just want to serve God. I don't want nothing he don't want me to have. I don't need no great name. I don't need this. I don't need that. Come on, somebody. I just want you, God. I just want the anointing. Don't take the anointing from me. I, and if, if I mess up, please let me repent. Don't let me be lying and cooking and doing all that other stuff people do. It's time to come clean, God says. Everybody. He said, because he see us, and I see a big cover coming off 2021. Oh, even the little stuff, 2021. Oh, even the little stuff, 2021, is coming undone, God says. He said, everything should be out in the open. Nothing should be hid, said the Lord. He said, so I suggest you get right before me. Hallelujah. Come of me. He said, learn of me. Come sup with me. Get closer to me. Quit running to this one and that one. That's how they got famous. Y'all... Let me tell you something. Y'all run everywhere all over the world when all you got to do is sit in your closet, your prayer closet. All you got to do is sit in your home. Lord, I need you. Lord, keep me. Lord, show me. Lord, please. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, the God yearns for his people to love on him and to get close to him again. We seek men more than we seek God. Hallelujah. But don't worry, God is going to allow all this stuff. Yes, he will. Unfortunately, he will. But I see revival through it all. I'm telling you, it's like we're back in the days of the apostles. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. And yet I want to cry because there's going to be so much death. And right now we're in the great apostasy. People are turning their back on God as if they never known him. Hallelujah. And some of them, you, you never were part of the flock. You are a wolf in sheep clothing and you're about to get exposed. I see five preachers in 2021. I want somebody to write down this prophecy. Anybody, write it down, write it down, write it down because God just giving it to me. I see five preachers that's going to get exposed. Major preachers. I see five. I see five, said the Lord. He said he's bringing it all down. He's bringing it all down. He said we did too much. We did too much. He said we're not loving his people back to life. We're not telling his people the truth. Y'all so scared of losing y'all houses and y'all legacy and y'all this and y'all that, that y'all won't prepare the people for what's getting ready to happen. 
Y'all know about that chip. Y'all know what's coming. And you won't even say anything. Forget if they put you in jail. So what? Because after they use you, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Hallelujah. I have a neighbor. I have a neighbor. I've been going knock on her door because I can see the stuff that she's doing is our intentional. And I looked in her eyes the first time she laughed. I said, okay, I see you. You're a witch. She a witch. And you and she really served Satan. And I'm looking like, how could you do that? Y'all need to understand. Some people have really chose to serve Satan. I think y'all better hear this again. Some people have chose to serve Satan. They don't love God. Even in the church, they don't love God. They don't want God. Y'all sitting up there talking about if they say Jesus, oh, they, 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 they ain't got no power. You got to stop. You got to stop eating at everybody's table, God says. Because the witchcraft that's coming in is, thank you, Lord. You want me to tell y'all what happened at the post office today? All right. So I went to the post office. Somebody wrote to Deanna Dixon from Deanna Dixon, but I messed up. I did not read it. And they fold a $5 bill. And as soon as I touch it, my whole arm right here started hurting. I said, witchcraft. I said, that's all right. Because before I leave, let me show y'all how it really is. You know how big this bottle is? I sell these. I anoint myself every day, every night, every morning, evening. Sometimes I just anoint it, just anoint. I got so much all on me. When they put me in the grave, <laughs> people might get up. You don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. But nevertheless, my arm started hurting. That's the sign of witchcraft. So we ever sent that five dollars wrapped in a little index card from Alabama because it was stamped Alabama. Don't worry, I send it. I, I send it back to you in the spirit. Everything you tried to put on me, I send it back to you. <laughs> Can't do nothing with me. Can't do nothing with me. And I'm yes, I'm not arrogant. I'm confident. I have the power of the Holy Ghost back up off me. Can't do nothing to me. Hallelujah. But that's what they're doing. So if they're doing it to me, y'all you, 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 got to watch who you talk to. I'm not saying walk in fear. So don't, don't even trip. I'm not talking about that. In this hour, you got to have the anointing so pure on you that you're like a radar. If something of God, if something ain't. I don't eat from everybody. I don't talk to everybody. I don't roll with everybody. I don't care if it's family. As a matter of fact, I have a testimony. And if somebody listening, they might not like this, but I ain't going to say no names today. My daughter, she said, Mama, I feel like somebody trying to do something to me. She had a dream. I told her who it was. She shows, she said, Mama, you ain't going to believe it. Mm -hmm. I said, now you believe it? You, you, you believe now? God is real, y'all. God is real. God is real. And right now, you better get close to God. I'm telling you stuff coming. When martial law coming, I, I'm going I'm to keep saying the same thing to you. Get it? I don't care. I heard that. I'm, I'm going to say the same thing to you. Because guess what? Even if you don't believe me, I just want it to be in your mind that when this stuff happened, you're going to revert back to Apostle said that. Because I want y'all to be ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been ready. <laughs> when martial law come, you ain't going to own nothing. You know, me and dad. We was looking into buying another house. I thought about it. I said, man, watch the law come. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying don't get a house. Do whatever, do whatever you got to do. All right? But I'm just saying. They will strip you of everything. You probably could stay there, but you will no longer own any property or anything. It would be a total dictatorship. And a lot of people say, well, you know, that's a conspiracy theory. Y'all stop lying. Y'all see it. What y'all think this vaccine is? How you gonna force a vaccine on people? You don't think you don't see what they're trying to do? Depopulate, demonstrate, they're not playing. Let me tell y'all something. New world order is not coming. It's here. Your rights are being imposed upon. Now I'm gonna re reiterate what I saw, how it ends. I saw bombs, radioactive bombs dropping simultaneously. East, West, North, South, all over the world. People, people 
big old, all the lights went out, even cell phones, everything. Get you some water, stock up, stock up on everything. You will have to defend yourselves. You will, I'm sorry, because I saw people fighting over gas. I saw people fighting over gas. You might want to get you some gas cans. It's like a movie. It's like a, it's like a movie what I have saw. And it's real. And if you really want to know how real it is, there's a movie called How It Ends. It's like they show us what they're getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. That's why my title is How It Ends. When I saw that movie, my spirit was just, it was hurt. Because I said, they're showing us what they're going to do, Lord. I'm serious. Right now, everybody working their jobs, doing this. See, thank you, Lord. I hear you. There's a spirit of distraction. That's what COVID is. I told you that was the first hit of the New World Order. They said, we got to distract them. And they're taking out stars, too. Y'all think people just die. That's true. People do die. But here's what's happening. And some more stars going to die next year, too. If they do not roll with the agenda, they got to go because they can get on. They can sweat a lot of people. If they're a star, they can sweat a lot of people. So they're going to kill them. They're killing them. Now, nah, you in with the agenda? They, they did it to President Kennedy. What you talking about? They do it to their own. We make you, we could break you. And this is, again, I don't know why I keep hearing this. This is not to put you in fear. The Bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, I'm going to tell y'all something. Me and daddy was talking because I, I, I reiterate to dad all the time. I said, dad, if they come in here and get me, don't try to fight them. I know dad got what he got. I said, just that's not your that's not your call. Just let it go. Let it happen. And I was on the prayer call the other day. I almost got killed seven times when I was in the world. Seven had guns put to my head twice. I never forget. I'm not lying. One from a boyfriend and what well, from boyfriends, ex-boyfriends. And they had the gun to my head. And I was crazy back in the day. I said, shoot, shoot. And the gun, they did. But the gun jammed both times. I'm going somewhere. God allowed me to live all seven times so I could die this one time. I ain't scared. <laughs> and that was when I was 20, what, 18, 19, 20. I'm 52. Been ready. He been getting me ready since 1996. I didn't know that then. Been ready. The dream I had when I was in prison, when I was, um, it was a big old, it was a big old field, empty. No, it's like a desert. Thank you, Lord. It's like a desert. And they, and they had none, it was like um, armies. And I was going first. I was on this horse. And I had, and, and we went to meet another army and had a number of beautiful swords, beautiful swords. That's why I love swords. And I never forget, the general told me, he said, pick your sword. So I picked my sword up. And he said, now go forth. And then I woke up and I said, God, what is that? He said, you're a general in my army. You're going to go forth. You might die first. He said, but you'll save others. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. And a lot of people can't handle this calling because you're trying to save your life. But my Bible say, if you lose your life for my sake, then you will reign with me in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all better get ready. A storm coming. It ain't here. It's coming. They've been little storms with the COVID and everything. Everybody's under surveillance, not just us. Everybody. So they, they're listening. If you're going to go with the agenda and if you're not. So you're already in four categories. I, I see four categories. Those that will go with them. Those that will do. Those that will resist, thank you, Lord. I keep hearing that word, resistance. Also, um, extremists, thank you, Lord. I'm giving y'all key points. I hope you're writing this down. Some of y'all need to be writing it down. They're going, that's what they got me as extremists, a black extremist. I am extreme. I am extreme. I'm extreme. That's true. Now, I don't know about the mess part, but I'm extreme. Um, so, thank you, Lord. Women, you really need to learn self-defense. Men. Y'all better get uh y'all better y'all better be in shape. Them boys coming, them boys coming, them boys coming. Keep a, a book set. Keep keep a a bag packed. Some of y'all gonna have to run instantly. 
God gonna tell you to run. You ain't gonna be found. Cause remember I told you about the safe houses. That's another reason I'm under surveillance. One of my students, she told me about a lot of safe houses, and I think they know that I know that they know that I know that. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. And I told you about these safe houses. How God has had these people where they don't have no communication with nobody. They don't have no communication. I, I see them. I'm telling you, I saw a vision. They just, a couple of older ones. They're just rocking. And then when their stuff hit, they're going to stop like this. That's the vision I saw. And they're going to say, it's time. They got everything you need in them basements. And when you be running, it's going to just be, it's going to be like slavery time. They're going to say, come here, come here. That's why you're going to need the voice of God to know who to trust and who not to trust. Because I've got to tell y'all something hard. Y'all know how Christians going to get caught by other Christians. Oh, I'm sorry. Other fake Christians. Let me clarify that. Yeah. That's why in this hour, my daughter was asking me something. Mom, why you don't have a lot of friends? All the ones I did have sold me out. So I got tired of it. I asked God, I said, okay, I know I got to go through this, but they can't be to my face because I might click. I'm sorry, I'm only human. If I know you to my face doing stuff, I'm only human. I, I used to be something for a reason. I ain't trying to go back there, but don't push me. Hello? I'm only human. I love the Lord. I ain't trying to hurt nobody, but I know you to my face and you done sold me out. I told y'all, and I'm going to reiterate how this one person told me this. I told you the FBI got two files on you. The real one and the fake one. And you, who knows who would they show. So the people that turn on you, it's not that they mean to turn on you. You don't know what file they saw. So they think they're doing America, you know, you know, helping to bring justice or whatever. This dude told me to my face. He said, I hope I, I wish I could see the other file. And I just looked like, did he just expose himself? He just got up and left. I was like, yeah, you pretty much told me. And then you wonder why I don't want to talk to you. Keep trying to get in touch with me. Dude, I ain't talking to you no more. Period. Once I know who you are, why would I want to talk to you? You got to learn what you need to learn from a distance. And I forgive you. Because I know you got caught up in that money game. Or they paying top dollars all over the world. Not just in the U.S., China, everywhere. They paying top dollars for those that will spy on you and be your friend. We're talking about boyfriends. Y'all wondering why so many women getting killed by men and vice versa. They were never that person. They were never for that person. Those were sent. Now, why they were sent? Who sent them? I don't know everything. Come on, somebody. I told y'all the vision I had when I was calling myself dating this guy from Mississippi. And God gave me, this was real, real too. Um, we woke up and we were we were married and we were kissing. And while we was kissing, he stuck the knife right here and killed me and smiled. Honey, I broke up with him so quick. <laughs> Make your head spin. I said, oh, Lord. I would... <sighs> How do you think I felt? I said, God, I don't want to die like that. He said, well, just follow me and be obedient. People and men and women of God, don't let your emotions cause you to miss it or cause your early death. I got to say it like that because you want to be loved or you want this. And are people talking about you because you're not married or this or that. I'd rather serve God alone or with somebody, however God do it. But God, don't let me be fooled. God, don't let me be fooled. I'm going to say it again. God, don't let me be a foolish woman or a foolish man. Hallelujah. And that's it. I feel the power of God. Y'all feel the power of God. This fast. Every time we fast, I'm telling you, it's so powerful. God is real. God is real. All right. I'm finished. I don't have nothing else to say. Some of y'all need to replay this. Some of y'all need to replay this and replay it and replay it because you need to you need to really get it in your spirit because here's the deal. You'll you you you'll hear it and, and you believe it. But then you go about your way and be like, oh, okay, whatever. You need to get you, you need to let this drop in your spirit so you can call, start preparing yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. I have been preparing myself. Okay, I have to be honest with y'all. I would say 2010 or 20, no, actually, thank you, Lord, 2014 when them drones started following me. And the white, I told y'all about the Caucasian guy that was just, you know, right there in the backyard and looking dead at me in my face. I had to start getting, okay, God, prepare me. I can't hate them people. They're doing their job. I don't hate them. 
Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I do act crazy when they come a little closer. I'll be like, back up, though, back up. Give me some room now. <laughs> All right, now. Okay. So you have to ask God to prepare you because you're only human. You don't want to fear. Like I said, you don't want to hate. They do, they do what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to spy on you. They're supposed to watch you. They're, su they're supposed to do what they're supposed to do. You understand, unfortunately? So you can't hate them. But you can ask God, because I'm reminded of this, and I'm going to get off of here. When Paul was in prison, and if you do the research, this is in Hebrew Bible, they would have a soldier tied to Paul every shift, seven hours. Paul, I love him. Oh, I love him. I can't wait to meet him. Paul was so cool with it. Paul said, wait a minute. I'm not tied to him. He tied to me. Paul would preach to him. You know, they start getting saved. They, they stopped having people with Paul. They was like, wait a minute, put him in a cell somewhere and, and just do it this way. We, we don't want nobody tied to Paul. Paul was like, I'm going to turn this thing around. I love the way Paul thought. Paul said, I'm going to preach. And believe it or not, even with the people that watch me 24-7, I try to continue to be the Christian that I know I am because who knows who's watching for real that might get saved. I know all of them ain't going to be saved because some of them are pure demons. But somebody watching me that said, wait a minute, she's not perfect, but she's a hundred. She really loved God. Yeah, she got some little irks and quirks. She got some flaws. You don't know who watching you. You don't know how it's going to go down. Hallelujah, because the power of God is real. That's it. Whew. So God bless you. God keep you. Share, tag this, listen to it again, because I felt the power of God heavy on here. And I don't just get up on here. I ain't got time to lie. I'm not perfect. I promise y'all I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm just like you. I'm trying every day. God, keep me. If I if I fall, God, please pick me up. If I say something, I do something. God, please, I repent. Come on. We all fall short of the glory. God, I ain't nobody. And, and that's the thing. That's all God wants. God just wants you to give me your best. Even at your worst, give me your best. Oh, come on, somebody. I don't need. So let me get up off of here. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless. Y'all have a blessed day. I know this was a hard message. I know most of my messages be hard. Well, I want to ask y'all something. How you think I be feeling when I get them? I be like, just, that's deep, God. I ain't lying. I know God be loving them sometimes. I be like, God, that's deep. It is shoot they, they got a hundred thousand guillotines what they gonna do with them things you know the things that chop your head off who you, who you think that's for so somebody better catch their head and see what time it is and then you got some christians get mad at you for the truth oh god gonna come get us before all this happens oh man i wish we're gonna go through something not everything but we're gonna go through something we already going through it you know so be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. God says pray. Pray, pray, pray. Prayer changes things. As a matter of fact, every time they had a miracle in the Bible, it's because they prayed. Esther. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. Come on, somebody. But he fasted and prayed before she did that. Every time in the Bible, when you saw them win, they prayed. Stop fussing, stop cussing, stop treating people bad, and pray about that thing, God says. All right, y'all have a blessed day. I love you all, even the ones that don't like me. And there's nothing you can do about it. Love people back to life. God bless.